Okay, now notice that we've shown a military vehicle along with a guy who's getting ready to clean it. Cleaning sounds like clindamycin, so it will be our symbol for the antibiotic clindamycin. This is here to help you remember that people with prior antibiotic exposure, especially clindamycin, are at an increased risk of developing a C. diff infection. This occurs because if antibiotics are administered, they can kill off healthy intestinal flora. Normally, the intestinal flora has a large percentage of protective organisms, as well as a small percentage of potentially harmful organisms. Therefore, antibiotic administration can disrupt this balance by killing the protective organisms, which can then result in infection from pathogenic organisms such as C. diff. Don't get this confused and think that clindamycin is used to treat C. diff infections. Rather, it increases the risk of C. diff infections. To try and help keep this straight, just think of the guy wringing out his dirty rags into the difficult mud course, making things worse, not better. So clindamycin increases the risk of infection. Okay, let's turn our attention to the right side of the image where we've added this guy on top of the climbing wall. Notice that he's hooked up a pump from the sewer down below and is actively pumping stool onto the course. Hmm, maybe the course isn't mud after all. Poor recruits, that's pretty disgusting. Anyway, the pump here is our symbol for proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs. We've included it in this image to help you remember that patients taking PPIs are at an increased risk of developing C. diff. The pathophysiologic mechanism here is unclear, so I won't speculate, but it is important for you to remember this association. Okay, let's move on and discuss the two toxins associated with C. diff, toxin A and toxin B. Let's begin with toxin A, which is an enterotoxin. To represent this, we've shown a drill sergeant with the letter A on the side of his shirt. The fact that the sergeant is down in the muddy or poopy area with the recruits should help you remember that it's an enterotoxin. Now let's discuss the function of toxin A. Notice that we've shown the sergeant splashing a bucket of poop right into the recruit's face. If we think of the sergeant as a symbol for the toxin, and now he's adding all of this fluid to the muddy, poopy course, then hopefully you can make the connection in your mind that toxin A is associated with increasing intestinal fluid secretion. So toxin A causes intestinal inflammation and fluid secretion. Okay, now let's discuss toxin B, which is a cytotoxin. To represent this, we've shown a drill sergeant with the letter B on the side of his shirt. So drill sergeant with the letter B for toxin B. 